today we're gonna be looking at an exclusive friends and family Air Force One that I realized not that many people have seen before. So I'll be unboxing these, reviewing them, and giving you all the history and details behind this shoe. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can actually get these for your collection as well. But before all that, we gotta get into the history first. So if you see the label on the box, it says W Air Force One 07 FF. That stands for friends and family, and this was actually a women's release. This pair of sneakers in particular was designed by Olivia Kim, and she has had other collaborations when it comes to Nike as well. Here's a few images to pop up on the screen for you guys to see some of her previous designs from the past and how she uses different inspirations of textures, materials, and colors. And you can definitely see a lot of cool designs inspired from different eras like the 90s as well. So Olivia Kim actually works with Nordstrom and is a VP of creative design when it comes to conceptual projects. And they do special pop-ups throughout the year at their main locations throughout the country. With her having such a dope creative process when it comes to her work, it ended up blossoming into a relationship with Nike, which then caused her to have her own collaborations as well. Also with her being up here in the Northwest, I could definitely understand how she could have potentially bumped shoulders with somebody. Next thing you know, she's in a meeting and now she's got her own shoes. I think one of the biggest ones that popped out to a lot of people was the Pony Hair Air Jordan 4. And that shoe actually sat for a while when it first came out. But then once the Black Cat Air Jordan 4 started to pop, next thing you know, her shoes started to shoot up in value as well. Now these Air Force Ones were given to friends and family back in 2019, and it may look like a simple shoe, but trust me, there's a lot of crazy dope details, especially when it comes to the packaging. So let's go ahead and get into the studio and start breaking down this shoe. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this is more of a special box compared to your typical Nike Air Force One box. You see like the gray with the white Nike on the top right there with the branding. So this right here, you got the all tan on the upper. Now you got a heart, you got the yin yang, and you got the peace logo in yellow right here. And then on the center of the lid, you have a Nike swoosh, but actually through the swoosh, I don't know if you can see or not, this is actually a hole in the box, not like just like a color of black or whatever. And then on the top of the lid right here, you have your different text. So I love how they added this to the box. It just showed more character behind the designer and the creativity, even though some people are like, who cares, right? But those little things for sneakerheads and collectors, and like I said, getting friends and family things and different things like that always makes it just a little bit more special. So on here, there's a cutout area and you have like the same color with that kind of lime neon kind of yellow green color here. It's gonna be the same thing there, perfect dots so I'm assuming it's saying like cut out to see through the box similar to the see-through swoosh here and then opening up the lid right here you got your all-over print with the blue Nike Air branding the yin yang the heart and the peace sign and then peeling back the paper you got the shoe Oh, you got the shoe. Yo, 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 real quick before we get any farther into the video, I had to let you guys know we just dropped some new merch and it's all available on the website shopdnashow.com. Also, if you look at the bar just below the video right here, you can see all the products available there and there's more stuff on the website. I'm excited to see you guys rocking the new gear. We have a bunch of new stuff coming as well. So let's go ahead and keep this video rolling. And again, if you haven't already checked out the website shopdnashow.com. Okay, initial impressions when I first saw this sneaker online, I was like, bro, I gotta have these. These are super dope. And then I found out it was a women's release, which I knew it was gonna be even harder to get in my size 13. Had a little bit of a mix up. This was a 13 in women's, not a 13 in men's, but it's okay. Either way, I still love this sneaker. Now I'm excited to break down all the details of the shoe because trust me, it looks simple but there's a lot of cool features. So starting with the bottom of the shoe, classic all white Air Force One, midsole, same thing, all white, white stitch, white air on the branding, and then to the upper. The white leather on the material right here is extremely nice. Now this is gonna be around the toe area, the eyelid area at the top end of the foot, and then the heel panel on the back end, but you have a white patent leather when it comes to the swoosh, and then the leather tab that comes here on the back side, and then the swoosh on this side. Now I think one of the biggest things that stands out for this sneaker is the see-through elements, and this is something that I really love about this shoe, just because it brings back so many nostalgic memories. I know you guys all remember the UNC colored baby blue and clear Air Force Ones. That was a shoe that a lot of people thought was fake, and it was actually a real sneaker. There have definitely been sneakers in the past that have featured this clear element to it, and a lot of people have shied away from it a little bit similar to the ebay dunk right you have that you have the clear element some people don't like it i get it not everybody's gonna like it but for me nostalgia and bringing back memories from the early 2000s and then having the betty boop on the back end with all the cool details and not to mention not only is she winking 
but that wink is actually a Nike swoosh for her eye on the left side right there. So simple, clean, icy. I love these things. Now these come equipped with a standard pair of all white laces. Behind that you have a tumbled white leather and then on the patch at the top end of the tongue you have Nike Air branding with the white patch and the black text. Now going to the sock liner another really dope detail to this shoe. You have an all over corduroy sock liner with the white right there and then you have a white insole with the white Nike Air. Now going to the back end of the shoe like I was talking about earlier. You got your patent leather patch right here matching with the swoosh. Another dope element is the little hang tag that they added right here. It's kind of like a rubber see-through kind of tag and then on here it's the same exact thing that you would see on the side of the foot right here at the heel. It just brings so much nostalgia back through the design and how they went about creating this sneaker. So those are some of the reasons why I love this shoe and hopefully these detailed shots throughout the video help you understand what I'm talking about when it comes to the overall quality of this sneaker because they definitely did a really good job when it comes to these. Also I forgot to mention there's actually two lace locks right here. There's a clear one and there's a silver one like your classic style. So another super dope detail that they added to the shoe. Subtle, I almost forgot to mention it because it's so subtle, but another cool detail to the sneaker. So after seeing all the details of this sneaker, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And like always, I do a poll on my Instagram as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me over there so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. But basically I asked the people the simple question, is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash? This is what they said. 64% of the people chose fire and 36% of the people chose trash. And I completely understand because it's not your normal Air Force One. It's got the see-through on there and everybody knows and you get that fog on there, I could understand that and people have the different worries of it some people just don't like air force ones that much even though this is one of like the most iconic models of sneakers ever to be created but that's a whole another story either way i get those poll results it makes a lot of sense me personally i love this sneaker i wish these were my size but unfortunately they're not and that's why i'm letting you guys have an opportunity to get them so if you hit the link down below in the description shopdnashow.com i'll make sure i have these listed on the website for you guys to be able to pick them again there's only one pair available so it's kind of like a first come first serve thing but we also have a bunch of merch as well that's going to be available this is coming soon and there's a bunch of new stuff that just dropped also linked down below underneath the video you'll see some of the products Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So whoever's planning on picking these up, I'm excited to ship these out to you. Appreciate you guys as always. If you wanna see more obscure friends and family sneakers like this or other general releases or even PEs, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a million subscribers and we're gonna get there sometime soon. All right, y'all, I'm out. I would never let you down. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video and you wanna be a part of the Sneakerhead Academy, hit the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section. Sign up and get joined in. We have so many monthly meetings, events, and things that go on we have a full eight week crash course that teaches you everything about the shoe game and i'll give you guys all my inside tips and tricks and network when it comes to real estate sneakers investing and overall just taking your life to the next level any way that i can help i want to help you on the inside so sign up i'll see you guys in there and trust me you guys are going to have a great time i'm looking forward to seeing you there all right listen my dna hey, the hey, only pop. choice i like to make what i'm aware today one one i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like to to make what I'm aware today I was made for it